What's going on, Toxic Gamers? Today we got a massive BBC upset going on, okay? Like, what else can I say, man? Yeah, Ubisoft is back at it again. And yep, this story, bro, I swear to God, man, how many times we gotta talk about it? Like, there is more! Apparently, Ubisoft runs to New York Times to attack players in defense of Assassin's Creed Shadows. We love this, right? Like, first of all, shout out to Captain BBC! Like the video if you think there are two genders, dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Man, d -Sec is crazy, okay? They make a bad game, they disrespect an entire culture, being racist towards everybody, then the gamers call them out, gamers say that the game is bad, right? Like, we, we deserve better than that. And then they call gamers toxic, problematic, and they're like, hey man, the customer is wrong, hey, you players, gamers, should, they said that actually, gamers, should be comfortable not owning our games that's what they said and right now gamers are acting accordingly and they're saying that we're not gonna buy your game and now you're seeing them run towards new york times and they are attacking gamers uh, toxic gamers in defense of assassin's creed shadows you cannot make this up these suckers crazy these suckers oh my god look at that man damn bbc samurai going crazy okay Shout out to the homie ref says Deshu. Roll this one, wait for you guys. Uh -oh. So the nightmare year for you. Uh, real quick, okay. Shout out to you guys for being killing it on the channel, man. Appreciate all of you guys for also following over on Instagram. Shout out to the homie Goji Rag Gaming, uh, uh, Diane, Cindy, Whimsy, It's my dad. Uh, sh uh, shout out to all of you guys for following over on the Instagram. Okay, links are in the the, the pin comment in the description. Would love to have you there. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo boo. Ubisoft has continued because they got caught running to journalists to blame yeah. gamers for the failures of Assassin's Creed Shadows. Now, recently we saw the release of Star Wars Outlaws, which was another flop for Ubisoft, which coincided with another drop in their stock, resulting in a group of their shareholders demanding some serious changes with the company. Now, yeah. not only are these games causing drops in stock and concerns among shareholders because of the quality of the gameplay, it also is exacerbated by the fact that these developers keep doing interviews where they make contradictory or just outright offensive statements about their potential customers, yeah. and that's exactly- And these things are so crazy, like, their stock is going down so badly, but they're still doing this. Bro, like, okay, at least fake it at this point, right? Like, fake it. Be like, yeah, man, we're listening to gamers. We know you're not. We, we know you're not listening to the gamers. But, like, at least fake it at this point. Like, damn. When you got your own investors, and this happened a couple of days ago, we covered it, right? Uh, when, when you got your own investors saying that, shut it down. When you got your own investors saying that, bro, like, make your company private. Investors are basically saying that, make Ubisoft go private. It's, it's a big deal, okay, because their stock is going down so much right now, they're losing money like crazy, that their investor, their own investors are saying that, bro, go private, man, please go private. They are on their hands and knees right now, they're like, please, go private, man. Y'all suckers cannot even make a single damn game, bro, like, just go private, bro. Y'all suckers need to go private. And, and what they do, they run to a New York Times and they're like, okay, well, you know, gamers are toxic, French video game dev developer Ubisoft ran to, <laughs> ran to New York Times in order to attack its own players. I mean, I mean damn man, what y'all suckers? Say psych right now! Say psych, bro! Say psych! These suckers crazy! Exactly what happened again here. Honestly, Wait if I was it. someone who was serious at Ubisoft, if I saw one of the developers approaching an interviewer, I would jump on them like the Secret Service to prevent them from saying further things that might damage the reputation of Ubisoft and its products. Yeah, now, looking forward exactly. into 2024, Ubisoft really only has one bullet or one major bullet left in their chamber, and that's Assassin's Creed Shadows, which releases in November of this year, which, once again, I'll remind you that they ensured to shareholders this game would yeah. succeed because players would receive it in a very- uh, Assassin's Creed Shadows was not only praised by players and critics alike but also damn man these things are like but also you see what i'm saying but also highlighted the cutting edge capabilities cutting edge guys this is cutting edge bro this is cutting edge game looks worse than a playstation 3 game dog what y'all think is talking about cutting edge my ass bro it's cutting edge my ass positive way and a few days ago we saw the world trailer for assassin's creed shadows and look at that it's an absolute flop that is heavily disliked by gamers getting 83,000 dislikes and only 19,000 likes yeah toxic gamers a brutal ratio right there now what do you do when you get criticism like that well You're it looks like ubisoft has chosen the worst possible route by going to the new york times 
to attack players in defense of Assassin's Creed Shadows. Like I said, they should not be doing any more interviews because they keep making fools out of themselves, and this is just another example of that. Now, before we- Bro, who does that, man? Who does that? I'm slapping myself right now, Brad. Like, imagine being so out of touch, bro. Nowhere does this happen. Like, customer is considered always right. Sometimes customers can be wrong, okay? Listen, man. Hey, man, listen. It can happen. But, bro, what the hell, bro? You singers are like, hey, customer wrong. Not just that you're saying customer is wrong. You're like, hey, toxic gamers. Gamers are racist. Gamers this and that, man. Bro, like, I swear to God, man. These singers need... I, I don't know what they need, man. I guess this is what happens when you hire activists, the political activists. I guess the political activists they hired, like the Sweet Baby Inc. and all these companies, right? These activists, right? This is what happens when they hire the activists and the activists then go ahead, they teach their devs and then the devs are like, well, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yes, gamers are the ones. They are toxic. They are problematic. Our customers are wrong. That's what happens, man. Like, nowhere does this happen. Could you imagine, like, you go buy a car and, and the guy looks at you like... Like that and, and like, call you out and, and and they're like, bro, like, you're toxic, right? Yeah, I, yeah, you look toxic. You don't look like that. You got the money to buy this car, so get the F out. What are you gonna do? Bro, you're never gonna buy there. You're gonna go somewhere else. This is essentially what they're doing, but they're doing it even worse, right? Yeah, destroying people's culture, right? Using black people as shields, using LGBT people as shields, uh, being racist towards black people, Japanese people, Asian people, big time. They openly say uh, they don't like, they don't want to work with white people, they don't like white people. They openly say that, allegedly. And where's brown people at, bruh? Like, these suckers are like, hey, we love diversity, inclusivity. I'm like, okay, okay. Where are brown people at, bruh? That's right, brown people don't even exist in their opinion. <laughs> If they're gonna, of course, like, guys, I, I'm not dying for diversity or inclusion of my brown people out there. But, like, if they're gonna play this game that way, we can also play the game that way, too, right? Like, yeah, bro, where where my representation is? As a brown man, I demand my representation. I demand my representation, man. This thing is crazy. This thing is crazy. We get into the Assassin's Creed portion of the article. I think that part plays brings up a really good point of comparison, where basically the tactics of Ubisoft currently are very similar to the tactics done by the executives at Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, back oh, in 2022. Too? So back then, uh, the executives of the show approached Vanity Fair writers, and they attacked Tolkien's fans and said that Lord of the Rings, uh, The Rings of Power, was something that they were bashing and hating on simply because of diversity, right? And we know now that this show has been a disaster. It has returned for its second season, seeing a 50% decline in viewership from season one. And as always, you see the games journals coming out to defend and deflect any criticism directed towards the creators of the show. But back in 2022, that duo at Variety wrote that when Amazon released photos of its multicultural cast, even without character names or plot details, the studio endured a reflexive attack from trolls, the anonymous online kind. Kind of like a, a page out of the book of a manless Stenberg with the acolyte hate, right? Blaming yeah. the bigots and the trolls online for the viewership and the criticism that they're receiving. But anyways, they go on to cite a woman named Maria Rios Maldonado, right? Who they described as a token scholar. That was definitely not an... Damn, look at that, man. BBC Samurai going crazy right now. Captain BBC! Damn, homie, like, these seconds crazy, bro. These seconds Intentional uh, pun they made there, but anyways. However, she is anything but. Rather, she was a PhD student at the University of Glasgow who is interested in ethics, feminist theory, and encountering the other in Tolkien's works. She also yeah. happened to be the equity and diversity offer for the University of Glasgow's Center for Fantasy and the Fantastic. Oh, it all adds up, doesn't it? Now, she would continue and say that basically these fans are racist for simply wanting yeah. a lore accurate yeah. adaptation yeah, of, of this course. franchise, where Maldonado questioned, obviously, there was going to be push and backlash, but the question is, from who? Uh, who are mm. these people that feel so threatened or disgusted yeah, by the idea that an elf is black or Latino or Asian? Now, we've seen examples of this very recently, actually, with the Lord of the Rings product Tales of the Shire that recently had a showcase here showing some diversity among the hobbits. You can see uh, that, that's how it turned out, and it's getting clowned on very hard right now on social media. But now we can go back to Assassin's oh Creed God. Shadows and compare Ow. what happened in 2022 with uh, Rings of Power versus this. So again, we're going to see people at Ubisoft approach journalists and then try to cite a fraudster expert and then try to deflect all criticism onto bigotry. Yep. So here we go. They end up teaming up with New York Times and Love one it. of the writers there. 
And similar to what happened back then, uh, they quote this, Some gamers erupted over his appearance, referring to Yasuke, convinced that the franchise, known for its immersive recreations of the past, had gone woke by including a black character in its depiction of 16th century Japan. Bruh. He then claims Bruh. that developers received personal attacks and death threats during an online harassment campaign. To no surprise, he shares... I, I have not... Uh, now, listen, man. Of course, like, it happens. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, though. Some gamers, they go rogue and then they send heaven proposals out. Bruh. Guys, don't do that, okay? Like, don't do that, okay? It's very few people, and it always happens. It's, like, the very few people that makes everybody look bad, right? It happens everywhere you look, right? It happens in religion, race, countries, right? Ethnic... Yeah, it happens everywhere, right? Like, it's just one bad apple that does something because of one bad apple you cannot call the entire tree bad you feel what i'm saying so it's like the same thing right like you cannot say it because one gamer sent a heaven proposal out then like all oh, gamers are like that yeah it happens but like don't do that but but like these things are crazy right like bro like holy crap man damn homie damn man damn bro no evidence of damn man like these sex dolphins make black people gay like yasuke made was made gay as well and we have talked about a million times if he was if the real life person was gay in real life then makes sense to make him though but they're like nah bro he's black let's make him gay let's make him gay and then they went crazy with the asian people as well they're like yeah asian people are not worth anything so let's just kill them all in the game that's what's going on uh, they openly are racist towards white people yeah white people bad white people trash so they do that brown people <laughs> hey where are brown people at? hey i don't see it man i don't see it, I don't see it. The, the, these suckers are these suckers are crazy man like to them brown people don't even exist no more bruh damn and then they run to new york times and they're like yeah gamers are toxic gamers sending us having proposals nah bro like we just want a good game and man it's it's sad to see y'all like do this trash bro like this game looks trash feels like trash and it's gonna be one of those trash game right it, it belongs only in one place and it belongs in the garbage it belongs in the garbage assassin's creed the garbage edition that's what the title should be looks worse than a ps3 title right yasek is being racist towards everybody on top too calling your gamers your audience and you're attacking them right now bruh like crazy you're running you're running to new york times you're telling new york times you snitching on your you snitching on us uh with new york times you're telling like come on man it's that's like that, that's like kindergarten crap bro like that's some baby crap right there it's like yeah like hey, you go to somewhere else and you talk about x and then you snitching about your ex and you're saying that my ex was like this my ex was that my ex was this my ex was that Ew. you suck is crazy man i swear to god bro of such attacks or threats and honestly i think that just comes with the territory unfortunately i mean anyone covering assassin's creed shadows and criticizing it for some of its decisions also get that kind of vitriol from people yeah. online but yeah, no yeah. one really cares what happens to youtubers and people like that who are criticizing exactly. the show because they're you know they're doing wrong think yeah. but anyways they have yeah, this whole yeah. thing about going woke because they hired they they included a black character in this feudal japan setting <sighs> and that is a complete misrepresentation of what people are trying to say exactly. there is a reason that they chose yasuke it's not because he hmm. was the best potential uh main protagonist it's because they wanted a diversity representation exactly. yep. as the yep. main character yep. okay and, and like where my black homies at though like guys like you y'all need to wake up as well they always do this to you guys man like I, I i cannot be the only one seeing this they always make black people gay in the game and, and again though like if yasuke was a gay in real life then it makes sense but he was not they still made him gay. They're like, he black. Let's make him gay. He black. So he must be gay. They, that's what they did, man. These things like, honestly, bro, like crazy, bro. They they do that all the time, man. Like this is a game set in Japan. It should have had like a Japanese protagonist. But they're like, okay, now let's actually go. It used to be black and yellow, black and yellow. It's a very good song. Very popular song. Black and yellow, black and yellow. And now these things like, like black and gay, black and gay, black and gay, bro. These things like, crazy, bro. Damn, man. They could have made... Yasuke, a, a offshoot character, a side story, something like that. And I think people yeah, really yeah, would have yeah. enjoyed it. But they clearly took him and propped him front and center because they thought it would be very good for their diversity and inclusivity. I, I think it's yeah. very obvious what they're going for here with this setting and this choice of character. And in the process, having to literally rewrite Japanese history to exactly, make it happen. That too. Right? That's the most offensive part. That they are too. preaching about bigotry and all these terrible things. But in the same breath, they are literally rewriting Japanese history in the name of diversity and progression. And it's really ridiculous. And they call you a bigot for questioning their virtue signaling campaigns. But anyways, the big heart of the issue here is the... Yeah, this is probably the best moment. Okay, let me actually show you guys this. So, Persecutor turned what? Persecutor turned what? Protector turned person.
Okay, so protector turned persecutor. Tikuta. Greed cannot rule this village. Not while I have breath in my lungs and a blade in my head. <laughs> and, and of course, gotta have the hip hop music. Now listen, hey man, I love hip hop music myself, but like, damn, this thing is crazy. He's like, they're like, hey, he black, so he must like hip hop. He black, so he must be gay. And they, I mean, it's not even that he must be, they made him. Damn, BBC Samurai going crazy right now. Shout out to Captain BBC, but like, Damn, man. Damn, homie. Damn, man. This like a characterization crazy. of Yasuke in the game. And the problem with Ubisoft is that they, they can't settle their minds on how they want to approach this character and other historical characters in this game. Beginning months ago by saying they wanted to faithfully depict yeah. real historical figures. And this was something that was backed up by Ubisoft and also games journalists who said Yasuke is a samurai, not a retainer, as history has always suggested up until this point. He is a samurai and that... If you have an issue with that, there's clearly something wrong with you, you're a bigot, what have you. But then we continue on in the article where another individual was cited as the source and the proof that Yasuke is a samurai. So after attacking the gamer, Small then went into uh, weaving a false narrative that has already been refuted for months by citing historian Yu Hirayama, who is an admitted communist. Small cites Hirayama's claim that it is without question that Yasuke was a samurai. There are very few historical documents on him, but there's no doubt he was a samurai who served Nobunaga as uh, Hirayama claims. Very few now, before we get into but... Hirayama, just remember the many different revolving doors yeah. of supposed historians who tried to claim that Yasuke was a samurai, beginning... Uh, long story short, apparently Thomas Lockley that made the book, okay, uh, was caught lying. He was caught lying and he've done like many interviews and whenever he would do interview uh, outside of Japan, he would be like, yeah, Yasuke was a samurai. Whenever he would do interview in Japan, he would be like, uh, 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 I don't know. We don't know. We don't know if he was a, a samurai or not. He was caught, right? And uh, apparently he falsified the story because, uh, and apparently some Japanese also came out. Japanese YouTubers covered it as well. Uh, other Japanese uh, uh, people coming out as well. And they're like, hey, we're we reading, we reading books. We're reading, uh, we check everything. And there's no sign of Yasuke being a samurai. And it's fine, man. Not everybody was a samurai, bro. Like, it's cool, bro. It's cool. But, uh, but Ubisoft is like, nah, bro. Like, we gotta make him a samurai. We gotta make him gay. And we gotta put him in the game, too. Damn, man. These suckers like crazy, bro. Like, these suckers like are racist towards everybody, man. With, of course, Thomas Lockley. We've talked about him in depth before. But to very quickly state what he did, he made a 400-page slot book making baseless claims that Yasuke was a samurai and in his own time, slowly over the course of years, defacing the Wikipedia page of Yasuke, which always... Uh, and then Ubisoft turn around, use this, and then they like change the the Japanese culture after that. Imagine like your history being changed, though. You, you know, you're if you if you're like a person that respects uh, their culture, like if you respect your culture, I respect that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So imagine like Ubisoft do that, right? Like they're like, nah, bro. Like we gotta change your culture. We gotta come in. Oh, you don't like it? Oh, let's let's do it. Why not? Let's do it regardless, right? Let's do it regardless. That's what they're doing right now. So, of course, the Japanese people are big mad with it and they're upset. Not everybody for sure, but a lot of them are upset. And understandably, man, understandably. Uh, referred to him as a retainer and slowly removed sources claiming as such that he was a retainer and then slowly started inserting his own book as a source claiming he was a samurai eventually leading until a few months ago where he was changed from a retainer to a samurai on the Wikipedia page all in an effort to go. promote his own book and that was exposed and a lot of people in Japan are very uh, yeah and I'm sure that like imagine this right Wikipedia <laughs> was edited on wikipedia it was uh, he was mentioned uh, as a retainer and later on they change him as a samurai and then you know people are like okay let's change it back to retainer then people are like ah, la, la, la. let's change it back to samurai so like seconds were beefing 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 everybody's beefing and i'm like damn man i mean yeah back in the days teachers did told us like they did tell us that hey don't trust wikipedia ubisoft is like let's actually make an entire game based off of wikipedia <laughs> Yeah, bro, like, it's it's wild. Offended by it's some wild. of the things in this book. And eventually people had to move on to a new expert, which was there this guy. Go. Whoever this guy is, right? So he comes out and says, uh, Yasuke's a samurai. And people on Twitter went crazy with this clip. There was tweets with tens of thousands of likes, people wagging their fingers in the faces of people who were, were critics of the samurai claim, saying, you're wrong. This historian, this expert has come forward and proved you wrong. Well, it turns uh -oh. out, according to this uh -oh. Japanese YouTuber and many others, that this is just a guy who works at a, a Japanese restaurant. This is there we go. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh man, it's over, bro. It's over. Seconds are crazy, man. Like people take people as source, man. Man, like that. It's over, man. And Ubisoft out here taking Wikipedia as source, bro. This is just a guy who's a YouTuber. He's not a historian. He's just a Japanese man wearing a kimono, and people used him as an expert. They assumed he must be an expert on Japanese history, which is uh, very offensive, by the way. It, it's like seeing a dude named Billy Bob wearing a cowboy hat and in a pickup truck and being like, yep, he must be an expert on uh, on some of the, the, the past of America, the American history. It, it's just such a stupid thing to claim. So that was debunked. And then we get to Hiriyama. He was the next one in the revolving door here. And he would make his statements, like I said, and this would be used by people, again, to weaponize hatred towards anyone questioning the samurai status of Yasuke. And again, as it was pointed out in the article, his claims are that there's not enough history or historical evidence to suggest that he's not a samurai, basically. Like, they're saying that the absence of proof is the, the proof of the claim. Like, it, it's so ridiculous. But going forward, this would be questioned as well, beginning with the fact that he is a member of the Japanese Communist Party. And if you're like me, I hear that and already dismiss his claims. Like, but if that's not enough for you, Understand why that's relevant, because Hiriyama subscribes to the Marxist histiography theory that basically does not require empirical evidence to make claims about history. Meaning, you can just say whatever you want pretty much, if it just feels right. So that's how he's determining that Yasuke is a samurai, basically saying, yeah, there's no real evidence to suggest it, but it just... It just makes sense to me, so believe me. <laughs> Obviously, this was trashed on once people realized this claim was complete. It's like saying, yeah, the Earth is flat. I believe it, therefore the Earth is flat. You know, it's it's one of those things. Completely baseless and based on a really crazy uh, Marxist histiograph. But, but where my flat Earth believers at, though? Like, I want to see, like, where my flat Earth believers at, though. Nothing but live, man. Nothing but live. The theory that, that is just trash. But moving forward in the article, we have some other historians who do say that Yasuke was more likely a retainer and someone that was an no. entertainer as well for Nobunaga. And they even go on to say that even- Wait, entertainer for Nobunaga? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. Yo, what does hey, papi, papi, chill papi, tranquilo papi. One that was an entertainer as well for Nobunaga. And they even go on to say that even if it was proven that Yasuke was a samurai, it was much more of a formality that often was given to favorite entertainers and other uh, companions of these people, including sumo wrestlers. Like, obviously it wasn't expected that they were going to go out and fight in wars, but it was given as sort of Damn. a aesthetic. And they were given a sword and everything else. It was more of a vanity-related thing. So, the Bruh, like, I don't even know, like, where this is headed, bro. Like, this is just, like, he said, she said, like, what, what is going on in gaming? Can we just get good games, bro? Like, what the hell, man? Hey, man, listen. We also ended up getting the PlayStation 6 first review. First leak as well. Check out this video on the screen, man. It is crazy. Sony going crazy. Where are the games, man? Also, if you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. Uh, we got Battlefield 6 first reveal as well. Yep, that too. Check it out and I'll see you right